Hey guys, it's me, Ricky22 here. Welcome to another video. And today, this video was requested by somebody whose name I can't pronounce. Okay, okay, you caught me. Nobody requested this. So in other words, it requested... Oh, oh, oh. Fringo almost forgot. Tip of the day. I know it's like I shouldn't have to say this, but it's 2018, so don't go around assuming genders or species, you know. <laughs> well, anyways, it... See it, yeah. Requested that we do theater etiquette, and so here are my top five rules. They may vary between all of you. Rule number one: no talking. So, in other words, personally, I think this is the most important one. Cause say you're at a movie, watch watching your be the best part of the movie. And your brothers, or hashtag my brothers, start talking. But it could be anybody, not my brothers. It just wants to make you rip your hair out. And that's exactly why I don't have long hair anymore. I used to have hair that goes dang near down to my butt. But, no, just, oh, yeah. Or you could do the more realistic thing and just beat them up. <laughs> Okay, moms, I ain't giving your sons any advice. Okay, step number two is no phones or beepers. This is a weird topic to me because I don't have a phone, and if you're wondering, this is what one looks like. It's my dad's phone. I'm recording on my mom's. So this don't really apply to me, but it replies to most everybody. And the beeper thing is they aren't around anymore. And I ain't that old, hopefully, anyways. So, we don't have to deal with them. But for, I have two, like, pet peeves about phones during a movie. And the number one of that thing, <laughs> you think I wouldn't have to say it. But if you're dumb enough to not turn your phones off during a movie, it makes sound every time your mad girlfriend or wife is texting you wondering where you're at. <laughs> yeah, ta-da. I also don't have to deal with that because I'm single. No, never mind. I was going to say something that I shouldn't say, but okay. Number two <laughs> is if you've been living under a rock, when it's dark, your phone is bright, which equals light. And light equals a distraction, and one distraction equals another distraction, and so on. And I'm going to quit using the word distraction. Okay. Yeah, you, you get the point. And by the way, if I come to school tomorrow not being able to see it's because I have this really light, bright, shining in my eyes. But that's okay. Anyways. um, Like, so just turn your phones off. And the beepers thing is just funny to say. Like I said earlier. They aren't around anymore. But what I did know is they made sound. Ha. Step three. If you're taking pictures or a video, do it without dis without a distraction. So say one of your family members is acting at a theater and you want to take pictures or a video Whatever, it's fine by me. If the theater says don't do it, well, don't do it. But I don't care. Just don't do it and, ca and cause a distraction. So in other words, maybe try to hide it. I don't know. Because just don't distract the audience or the actors because that's rude. Step four. This one is kind of a funny one. Eat your food respectively. And I know you young teens out there, which includes me, but this that don't change the point. You might think it's funny to crumple up those plastic bags, which makes a lot of sound. So in other words, if you're eating some candy, open it before the movie, so we don't have to hear it. Because at a movie, it just distracts the audience. But it's even more important to not do that at a theater, because not just the audience... But it also distracts the actors too. So just don't do it, okay? Because that's just ruder than all get out. Step five. This one's kind of funny also. 
No babies or little kids that can't control themselves. Okay, so I honestly think th this one is out of all of them I can't stand the most. Because say you're watching a movie and this little kid or baby starts crying during the best part of the movie. It just makes you so angry. And you know what triggers me even more? Is when they're crying and the parents don't have a brain enough to take their children out of the theater. Like, if you're going to break the rule, the least you could do is take your spoiled brat out of the theater. O okay, okay. Uh, they don't have to be spoiled, but you get the point. Then step six. Okay, you caught me. I said there was only going to be five, but this is the most important step. And it's called do as I say. So in other words, do the steps, but it's mainly for this one. Just don't forget to like and subscribe. And if YouTube likes me, I'll put my Instagram in the description below. Peace. Oh, wait. Peace. There we go.